What's going on, everybody? It's Jeff Lightsy Jr. here with the Black Boss Channel. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. But what in the world is going on with Kyrie Irving? Like, Kyrie Irving, Kyrie, 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 like what? Ah, oh, Kyrie Irving is one of my favorite players in the NBA, but he's also one of the most frustrating players in the league. Like, Kyrie Irving is so talented, but he does so many things that just makes you scratch your head. And the latest is him going. So Kyrie Irving, if you don't know, Kyrie Irving will not play in any games this week because there is a video surfacing around the league of him attending a birthday party for his sister with no mask and a bunch of people and there's cameras and everything. And it looks like it's at a bar or a club or something. So Kyrie, the, the league is investigating that video to see what the hell's going on. But here's the bigger issue because Kyrie has not played in the last four games, and he looks like he'll miss another three or four games because of this COVID stuff, but he hasn't played in the last few games because of what took place on January 6th. So we remember on January 6th, the Trumpsters stormed the Capitol and all of that, you know, all of that mess. So, you know, MAGA took over the Capitol, and Kyrie has been a big person in social justice. Kyrie Irving is, look, I think Kyrie Irving's B1, I want to say, but he's a little different. Like, so you never know what's going on, but I want to say Kyrie Irving is B1, and I always respect that. But here's the thing. So because of that, like, that had some emotional distress on Kyrie, and he hasn't felt comfortable about playing basketball. And, you know, to each his own. It is what it is. At the end of the day, this is your job, right? And so when you're employed and get millions of dollars to play basketball, it's kind of hard to go with I'm sitting these games out, the last four games, not to mention, not just like one or two. I'm going to sit the last four games out because I'm emotionally messed up because of what the Trumpsters did in D.C. and Storm of the Capitol. But I am emotionally good to go to a birthday party that's against league, by, you know, all against all the rules from the league. Mass, I don't have a mask on and everybody got these phones and cameras out and I know and I can see it like it's visual. It's not like people are are hiding it. It's the videos just gotten out because everybody had their phones out. It's lights. It's at a club. And the league has banned players from going to clubs, from going to bars, from being in gatherings of 15 or more people, from being seen with masks, without having masks on. Like, you know all of this, right? So you can say, hey, it's not fair or whatever. Like, it's some BS or whatever. But these are the rules. And these are the rules that the players agree to. So you have to follow the rules. Like there has to be some kind of, you know, the famous quote, law and order. Like it's got to be some kind of law and order going on. And since you agree to this, you have to abide by it. And the fact that Kyrie Irving is out disobeying the rules while also missing games because he didn't like what took place at, at the Capitol, it's just, ah, it's just mind blowing to me. Kyrie, what the hell are you doing? Like what is going on, buddy? Like do you need somebody to talk to? Because why are you missing games because you're upset at what's taking place with Capitol Hill, but you're good enough to go party? Like, that doesn't make sense to me, man. Like, you're costing not only yourself, but your team. This goes back to those maturity issues and, and thinking you're smarter than everybody, all of that stuff, and being mad at the media for stuff like this. Like, Kyrie gets so pissed at the media because they're always seeming to pick on him for the things he does and says. But he does stuff to get picked on. <laughs> like You violate team rules. You miss games for being emotionally distressed or whatever. You know, it is what it is. But then we'll get mad at somebody like me or somebody on ESPN or somebody at somewhere for, for addressing it, for talking about it. Because this is insane. Like, this is crazy. You're literally missing games for what they call personal reasons, but what's coming out because he was upset what took place at the Capitol. And this is insane, Kyrie. Like, there's no way of defending it. And these are the type of things that people believe will get in the way of the Brooklyn Nets potentially making it to the finals or winning the NBA championship. Because they believe Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant to a certain extent, not to the same extent as Kyrie, but get distracted and lost in what's taking place outside of basketball. Like, obviously, we won't ever, you know, I'm all for black people being B1, black first. But we ain't talking about being B1 and that kind of distraction. We're talking about being pissed at a bunch of bunch of MAGA folks storming the Capitol to where you got to miss games off work. That's not a black issue. That has nothing to do with black people. Like, yeah, you can say it's a it's a threat to our democracy and it's treasonous and it's terroristic or whatever. Like, yeah, all of that can be true. But they don't. That ain't affecting. You know, just because it happened, I had to get up and go to work in the next day. 
I, you know, for those who own businesses, they still had to make their businesses run. They couldn't just take days off because they were pissed about what some MAGA folks did in D.C. a week ago at this point or over a week ago at this point. God, and, and now to, to not follow the rules, we, we bash James Harden for going to these strip clubs, maskless and all that. And that was before the season started. I get it, Kyrie. You have a sister. She had a birthday party. You want to be there. You want to show support. And I get all of that. And it's hard. But this is what you signed up for. Your job said that you couldn't do this. You can't do these things. This isn't 2018, 2017. This is 2020 slash 2021. We are in the middle of a pandemic. You can't do it. And you agreed to the rules and you're still collecting the checks. And by the way, speaking of the checks, if the NBA finds that he was in violation, which they will because the, the damn video is out, like they're going to find him in violation. It's going to cost him a, a nice chunk of his game salary, of his salary for the season. I think they said once, I don't know the number, but it's going to be a nice little hefty fine. And, he, and he's got a quarantine. And he's going to miss, he's already missed four games, so he's got a, probably going to miss three or four more. Like that, that's detrimental to your team now. Because now it's it's bigger. And now it's bigger than just it's bigger than just disobeying the rules, not following the rules. You're actually hurting your team. You're going to be out for almost ten games. You already been out four with this emotional distress, and now you'll probably be out another three or four because of this. That's detrimental to the team. That can't be accepted. The team, somebody in that locker room's got to step up, and I don't know who it is because Kyrie is the second best player, and the best player KD is his best friend. So I don't know who it is, but somebody got to got to talk to Kyrie and be like, hey, dude, we need you to win. You got to get it together, my G. Like, you have to get it together because we need you to win. That's my thoughts on the Kyrie Irving situation. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Once again, I'm Jeff Lighty Jr. with the Black Boss Channel. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.